Hello, I'm George Trombi with Japanese from Zero, and this is Japanese in Five, where we take five minutes out of your busy day and we teach you, or you at least try to, learn some Japanese if you don't have five minutes, seriously. Give up. All right, here we go. Today's topic is fat Americans thin Japanese. Yes, it's controversial. No, it's not. We are all fat in America, and Japanese people tend to be thin. Yes, there are fat people in Japan. They do exist because there's a lot of McDonald's in Japan. But basically today we're not talking about the controversy of if Americans are fat or if Japanese are thin. We're talking about the words associated with being fat and thin. And a special way of using the verbs that you might not know. So the first verb is futoru. 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 For those of you who are really, really new and watching this for the first time, these right up here, these little small characters are called furigana. And they really are just hiragana, but when they're up in that position, they are referred to as furigana. And they are telling you how to read this kanji character. Okay? And if you read a lot of Japanese children's books, you'll know that every children's book will have, up until maybe sixth grade, for some of the harder kanji, and if you're younger, like third grade or second grade, it will always have the furigana. And then after the kanji, this actually has a name too. It's called okurigana, the sending Kana. It's the words, the parts of the word that help conjugate. So that's what this is. Right here we have the verb futoru. And futoru by itself is just a dictionary form. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't have any meaning beyond present tense at this point or future tense. So for example, you could say futoru, ashita futoru, which makes no sense. You wouldn't say that. I will get fat tomorrow. You might say that. Maybe it's Christmas. I don't know. Then the opposite verb is yaseru. Yaseru. Okay, so yaseru means to get thin. Futoru is to get fat. Yaseru is to get thin. Now let's look at how the normal verb usage works that you would probably get in a level one kind of a book, like Japanese from Zero, for example. So you have futoru, which turns into futori. That's the stem, and then you add your past tense stem, or your past tense ending. So you have futorimashita. Futorimashita, which means I got fat. Futorimashita. So if you ate a lot on Thanksgiving, maybe in a couple days after that, you would say, oh, I got fat. But what if you lost a lot of weight, like I recently lost weight, people say this to me, they say, Yasemashita. Yasemashita. You have gotten fat. Now, you might be wondering why futoru turned into futori, but yaseru didn't turn into yaseri. Mashita. That's because yaseru is what's called an iru edu verb. That's covered in book two, chapter from zero. The very first lesson in book two talks about this, but you drop the ru and then you add your ending. So it's yase mashita. Then, of course, you can add all sorts of stems or endings, I mean, to these verbs. You could say, I want to get fat. Futoritai. Futoritai. Why would you want to get fat? Maybe you're thin. I met this Japanese guy. Uh, his name was Kondo. Met him in Korea. And he, when I was still fat, he looked at me seriously and said, George, seriously, how do I get fat? Like, as I was like the pro in understanding how to get fat. Yeah, George, how can I get fat? He said, which is a nice uh, softer way to say it. And I was like, just eat like me and you'll be fat. But what if you are fat and you want to get thin? You can say, and you can say, Des at the end, it makes it a little bit more polite. Yasetai by itself means I want to get thin. Yasetai des means I want to get thin also. All right? But what if you are thin or you are fat? Right? You, you can use these exact verbs, but you have, to do, uh, you have to do the is fat form or the is thin form. And to do that, we have to talk about the te iru form. This is going to go a little bit longer than five minutes today, but that's okay. It's important. So normally when you learn the te iru form or the te imas form, which is what it's also called, you know that that is basically like saying ing. For example, uh, taberu to eat becomes tabete iru, I am eating, or tabete imas, the more polite way, I am eating, or past tense. Notice that once you have tabete iru, it's just like a brand new verb, and then from there you can remove the ru and add your stems, right? So if you say tabete imashita, it means I was eating, ongoing present tense form. Let's give a little bit of a conversation, for example. Nani wo shite imasu ka? What are you doing? Nani wo shite imasu ka? And the answer, I will give you a second to read it and see if you can translate it yourself. 
テレビを見ています。テレビを見ています。I'm watching TV. This is the traditional way that you learn the te imasu form that it is always ing. Okay, let's give another example. 何をしていますか寿司を食べています。I'm eating sushi. 寿司を食べています。Alright? So you can see how that works. But what if you say 太っています That doesn't mean I'm getting fat. It really doesn't. It means I am in a state of being fat. I am fat. Iru, okay, by itself means to exist. I am existing fat. Fototte imas. Okay, same thing with, and I've noticed that I changed it to imas. You can also say I was fat by saying fototte imashita. I was fat. And even though you might have learned that imas is the ing and that sounds like you're saying I was becoming fat, that's not what it means because this is not an action verb, it's a state verb to be fat. Any verb that says to be something, it is going to turn into this when you're saying I am fat or I am anything. Okay, so let's look at this one. Yaseteiru. I am thin. Yaseteiru. Or you could talk about a girl. Like, Kanojo wa yaseteimasu. She is thin. Thin. All right. Let's look at the first thing I said, which was Japanese are thin and Americans are fat. We have Nihonjin wa, excuse me for not having the furigana up there, but this is Nihonjin. Nihonjin wa yasete iru. Japanese are thin. Japanese people are thin. America jin wa futotte iru. America jin, well, my bad accent. America jin are fat. Right? Americans are fat. And by the way, I'm American, so I can say this. I can say whatever I want about my own people. All right, so let's look at a more advanced sentence. I'm not going to give it to you, but in the comments of this video, those of you that think you understand the meaning, go ahead and translate it. It is this. The only hint I will give you is that when a verb comes directly in front of a noun, it works just like an adjective to directly modify it. That is it. If you'd like to learn more Japanese, check out yesjapan.com where you can get completely course one for free, or you can buy the book on amazon.com. It is the number one book, so why go with any other book? See you next time on Japanese in 5. Ciao, ne!